talk to me about Hollywood for a minute. Were you, were you as an actor, as a person, professional, comfortable there? Is it a place like a lot of Canadians have found that you could, you could stay on comfortably? Obviously not, you wouldn't have been back here. I felt that I was becoming, well, let me jump back a bit. Uh, it was comfortable at the beginning to be in the history, to know the history. I didn't care what size the buildings were. I didn't care how many old stars were left or how much of the old system was still left. But it was comfortable for me to be within the history because that's, again, how I grew up mm -hmm. in my head. I was Hollywood. There's mm -hmm. no two ways about it. That's where it all kind of hung. Um, as a creative individual, as a working actor, I found it very uncomfortable. If that was all I was going to do with the rest of my life, fine. They treated me professionally. They had great respect for Canadians anyway. They wondered where we got all this experience that we've, that we've got, you know. That was a nice feeling. I wasn't really starting at the beginning again. But there was something about the place that to me was the, would have been the fastest way to the graveyard possible for me as a creative individual. Um, you get the house you want. Life revolves around that. It doesn't really revolve around the Daisy or the new disco uh, movie actors thing. It revolves to me around the place you buy and the time you spend at the phone, the jobs you, you take or you don't take, and how you sit a lot and wonder where you're going, if you're living their career or yours, to become part of a yellowing kind of system where you are the tenant, not the landlord. That, to me, is defeating. Did you find anybody else who feels this way? I think probably in their heart of hearts, most of them do. But they don't make the break. No, they don't make the break. A good, a good, um, well, let's say a medium good, a, a fair, to, fair to good kind of actor in Hollywood, established or trying to get established, will be happy, only too happy to get himself a long-running series. It's certainly better than driving a truck or digging a ditch. And this, this means a great deal to them, and I don't blame them at all for that. Um, but I felt being, I felt being taken over quite, quite easily, in fact. And I was there six years, and I can't believe it was that long. And that you could never allow yourself to, to fall into? I couldn't do it. Anybody take you over? I couldn't do it. So when the money came through to make the Rowdy Man, although I'd had an opportunity down there to sell it outright and to get it done in their scale, their style, back lot, universal kind of thing, um, which I was very tempted to let go of it a few times, um, I got the news from Toronto that we got the money and I put on a weight belt and I had a few scotches and dived in, forgot I had the weight belt on in my swimming pool, and said, oh, well, it's all over anyway. <laughs> it was a very hair-raising afternoon, because it was also the turning point for coming back to Canada and um, getting back into the swim again and um, in a much tougher way, a different kind of way, a bit more comfortable because I was at least home here. And I thought, it's got to be done, and it can be done. <laughs>